So in perplexity, you can create a new thread and then you can download this AI response as a PDF document, markdown, or even the OCX file. And I think these are just some popular file formats that could easily be shared across platforms. However, this feature is only available for perplexity thread. You cannot do the same for perplexity pages. And that's really disappointing. If you click on this icon, you see that there is only option like adding the page in the space or reporting the page or you can also bookmarking or sharing the uh, page link to your friends but that's basically it there is no other way you can download this report or this article as a pdf document and that's really disappointing because there are some great pages in perplexity that you might want to download or maybe share with your friends in a pdf format so how do you deal with this well there is one uh, solution actually it's not the best solution but some people actually downloading the document by pressing ctrl and p which is basically printing the page you can also click uh, this menu and then click print and what it is doing is it is going to convert the document uh, sort of convert the page into a pdf document but it is not going to look great because you can see that there are some problems like there is this icon or oh, sorry logo there is this icon menu there are a lot of empty pages that's kind of unnecessary and there are some elements that you probably don't want to include in the pdf document like there's this button there's a feel like that it's not necessary and i don't think it's going to be great uh, for a document so you might want to get a clean version of the report so you don't want to get all the unnecessary elements from perplexity pages and there is one solution for that so let me show you how you can download pretty much any perplexity pages including the one that you didn't create like any any public pages from perplexity to a pdf document okay so first you have to open a new tab and then search for chrome web store so let's open the page and there is one chrome extension that you might want to install so the name of the extension is pressplexity that's the name and then you can click on the extension and then you can click add to chrome and then click add extension There you go. Now the extension has been installed. Now you can go back to any perplexity pages that you want to download as PDF. So let's go to this document again. So this article, you have to refresh the page in order to apply some changes or apply the new feature from the extension. Let's reload this page and you'll see that there's one new feature being added to this page. Alright, if you look at this section, you'll see that there is a new button called export to HTML. Not PDF, but HTML. But it is going to make the process of, of converting the HTML file to PDF going to be better. And you'll see why. So I'm going to click on this button. And you see the document has been exported. I'm going to open this HTML file as a, uh, sorry, via Google Chrome. I'm going to drag and drop it into a new tab and this is the result so this is the same content from publicity pages from this page and i gotta say it looks way way cleaner than the original or the previous method of downloading the article as a pdf document via the print method so it is going to be clean it is going to be better there is no annoying elements in the document it's just basically text and images and links and that's about it so after that you can press ctrl p or you can also just go to the print menu and then you can download this as a pdf document which will guarantee to be cleaner than the when you are just downloading the pdf document directly from perplexity pages so you can click save and let's click save again and i'm going to open it right here and there you go so this is the document that was generated via this chrome extension and of course it was originated from this perplexity page pretty amazing right so you can you know download a lot of pages from perplexity pages and you can do whatever you want with that document so i hope this video is helping and if you find this video to be useful then feel free to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you on my next video have a great day